Chris are becoming militants. Since the residents of the city hate to walk, you'll need to come up with a transportation plan quick. Obtain a low average traffic density within 10 years, and the citizens of Bern will make you the national transportation planner. Who is messaging me? Um. Alright, um, I'm gonna look up that guide I've been looking at, uh, real quick, just to see if there's any recommended strategies for this one. Because that actually, like, is not really something I, um, meant to really do, but, like, I don't know, it seems to be just a bit helpful. It's just like a little sentence, it's like, yeah, do this. Uh, let's see here. So we're in Bern, Switzerland. Time 10 years, okay. Design a more efficient transportation systems. Goal. Only strategy known is to replace all roads with rails. Doesn't sound too bad, really. It's kind of a bit different. Oh, I also need to boot up the chat real quick. Ooh, I'm trying to click the actual game. Uh, what's there we go? That should pause it anyways. I don't have chat booted up. Uh, should have done all these things beforehand. Let you know. Inferno, where are you? Got to unsubscribe from the channel. <laughs> I don't see it. Yeah. Huh. Maybe it's just not letting me boot it up because I'm using it. I don't know. Either way, chat is up. We might have... Oh wow, so Glendo's doing a Master Sword run in Link to the Past and that comes up. I, I don't know much about Zelda, but that must be pretty difficult. Okay, so... Oh, good sweet Jeebus. What the hell is wrong with these? I mean, this is not really... Like, there's some really weird road formations. This is not any less than I usually do. But I think what I've read, you can, with Original SimCity, you can literally just replace frickin' roads with stupid, uh, rails. But, I don't know, I think I'm gonna try and, like, build around, almost. The guide's probably talking about transportation. No, he's, he's fine with it. Okay. Close down my guide. Uh, some scenarios. No! No! Go away. God, I can't spell anything. Inadequate rail system. No crap. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, okay, let me see. Burn Switzerland. Gold. Design a more efficient. Okay, so we're just literally building the transportation system. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm not gonna outright replace the roads. I don't know if that's confirmed that I can just do that or not. I think you can for some weird reason in this game, but I don't know. I almost feel like that's cheating. If that makes sense, I don't know. Not really, but it's kind of the same as doing the tax thing at the end of the year, get more money. I just I'm not gonna use stuff like that. When we're doing a contest, or not contest, but an event like this. Uh, so I'm just going to build the rail around. And have a good time that way. Just have it connect to enough of the roads, you know? And then it shouldn't be too big of a deal. If it's constantly going beside the roads, it should be pretty good off, too. That's my line of thought. So we're just gonna make it go all the way around. For now, there's the train. I think those are purely there for show as far as this game goes, too. Just let the guys know SimCity's up. SimCity live. Oh, oh whoa! Come on. Oh, it just killed the road, okay. That's wonderful. 
I'm also not gonna use the explo- I'm not gonna use any exploits, I'm not gonna- I think I did kind of the other level, but I don't wanna exploit anything really, but you can just like cut off the ships, I think, because they don't know how to drive. <laughs> Pretty simply put in this game. But if this is literally hugging the road a lot, I think we're gonna be okay. It doesn't really seem like too many, like, oh yeah, okay, there's some commercial there, but most, for the most part, the city's thriving, it's got lots of police and fire departments. It's probably what Detroit needed. I want to beat that one. Um, don't think I can really bridge it that way, so we're gonna go here, I guess. Yeah, okay. And the nice thing about the shorelines here is you can just freaking use them. One, one little trick I did know about this game. Oh, and then you get a little residential on the island here. Lucky, lucky bastards. Oh, it's not an island. Well, it's still pretty lucky. Although I'm kind of wrecking their shoreline with trains, but you know, they can still swim on that side. It's cool. Uh, I can totally use that shoreline too. Just using all the shorelines here to make it look really crappy, but you know. Oh crap. Speaking of crappy. These railways, to my understanding, I should see the cost difference compared to roads, because I think they're literally just like, because there's only the one road type. That type. It's just listed as mass transit, so I wonder if it counts as like highways and stuff. Could very well be. Yeah, Cyrus, it's a traffic problem. I'm just trying not to use, like... I, I, I don't really want to use exploits and stuff, so I think... I've read that you can just literally have trains instead of roads. But I'm just going to try and make it, like, realistic, if that makes sense. I don't know what the hell is going on up here. Whoever designed this is on crack, but, you know... Sometimes I just do that. Okay, so already the car... Yeah, the car icon disappeared the second I put the train right next to it. It also is double wide in the roads, and it looks kind of shitty. I don't know. There's already shitty looking roads in this, so... I mean, really. Okay, what we're going to do here... Is considering that road's completely unnecessary, we'll get rid of it. Almost used up half our freaking budget on this train system. Our transportation budget is going to be fucking through the roof. This might be a problem. Wait, let me go there. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Well, they have more roads than necessary at the freaking bottom. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, so let's just touch it real quick to this road. And then... Touch it real quick to that road. And then, there we go, we got a circuit going around the city. Okay, we'll get Wolf in here. Go into the general. Whenever Wolf wants to pop in, it's fine. Okay. So let's check the voice and crap, see what people are saying. But I, I think the voice doesn't actually change, like, except year to year. And they're not even mad about the freaking... They're mad about taxes, they're not mad about their transportation system. Jeez. Uh, okay, yeah, that'd be nice to clip this into some areas, too. Ooh, got a nice little pathway we can do it here, actually. I'm not actually usually one to build very many trains, to be honest. So this is a bit different to me. It's like, I don't know, even like in city skylines, I'm really about making my roads nice, but I'm not really too big into making the bus systems and stuff. I don't know. Add some parks and stuff, make things nice and pretty. For everything we fucked up. I don't know, making the industry pretty isn't really a priority. There's lots of, I think it's, land for you to be able to put like rails in kind of help you with the scenario look at this literally like space is left for us here everywhere 
This can entirely not be an issue if we just weave all through here. I hope. Okay, like I said, I'm not too familiar with rail systems in this game, so. Or just kind of in general. So, I think it just kind of is there. And it works as long as it exists, much like a road in this version. Trains just kind of there for show. Okay, well, we've got an unnecessary ish road there, too. Kind of. We kind of bridge that somewhere else, maybe. I would rather have less bridges because I think those ships are going to freaking crash into them more often. I also want to conserve our money a bit because we do have a 10 year scenario to run through here. I should have cranked the speed earlier too. And not to mention we're going to have to deal with other things other than transportation. For the most part I think I've probably done enough with transportation. I'm going to take out this road here, where we kind of got a lot of traffic issues. Replace it with a rail. I know I said I'm not going to do a bunch of that, but I'm going to keep it intact. The streets. It's literally going to go all the way there. Okay. Does these cost a fair amount? What we're going to do after this is we're going to make the roads go down through it so they can still get across. We might end up replacing quite a few of these roads with trains. I'm just not going to replace everything. For the most thing, the economy otherwise seems to be going pretty good with this place. They're complaining about the taxes, but frankly, the taxes friggin from transportation not going to be able to cover anything. Uh, okay, so we can get rid of that road. Yeah, let's get rid of that road. None of the power lines I took out there freaking out at me. Oh, thanks, Wolf. <laughs> Always forget that. Stream's titled properly now. There we go. Speaking of power outages, I'm in chat, by the way, guys, if you want to jump in. Way ahead of you. Hey, man, how's it going? It's going. How long have you been here? <laughs> just, uh, maybe five minutes. Oh, really? I had not even noticed. I didn't hear the boop or whatever the noise is that, uh, Discord does. Ninja then. You sure did. Man, I'm so tired today. This is, like, the perfect game to be playing right now. Yeah. <laughs> Not playing some stressful thing that's action based or nothing. What's up, Wolf? Hey, Wolf. Have you done any of these scenarios before, Cyrus? I've done this one. Is this one pretty hard, or am I pretty much on the on the no, right side? No, you're, you're. I'd say you're probably gonna get it. I went overkill and I replaced most of the roads with railroad. Because this game, they detect railroads as like highways or something weird or something. Well, they'll complain that there's not enough roads, but you'll never be penalized for it if it's all railroads. So that's what that's all about. Okay. Yeah. okay. I've seen like, cause like, some I think it was like Wolf was showing me like like the max population in the whole city was just train tracks. I was like, what? <laughs> How's it even function? Um, still got traffic problems around here. I don't really want to take out the parks, though. I don't know. I think I'm going to take out another T section here. I'm pretty sure I simplified um, the roadways, too, when I did this. Kind of like that area that's supposed to be like a park area. Yeah. I'm not much of a scenario guy when it comes to this, these games, usually. Usually a free play guy. 
So wait, which game are you taking on next, anyways? Well, I'm gonna try and help with Populous, so that we can unlock, um, UN Squadron. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I think I heard you saying that. Yeah, Populous is probably gonna hit 700 today, you'd hope, but... I guess we'll find out. It depends, I don't know if Tensor's playing today or not, or if Glenn is. Simplify that area too. I don't know. More roads wouldn't hurt though, just with this parked area, right? right. No. Well, <clears throat> see, when you put a road, all it <laughs> all it really does is it gives you a chance of getting traffic. Um, it does provide a way to get or for the citizens to get places, but railroads will never give you that traffic penalty. Yeah. Um, so it's it really puts you at a disadvantage. Man, freaking! I'm gonna lose all my money on the first three years here. This is insane. Losing four grand to, um, three and a, three and a half grand to expend it. Um, I'd put. Well, I would try to put it up to like tax rate ten percent for maybe a year, see if they complain, and if they do, drop it down a percent. Right. Yeah, they'll be so happy it's back down to nine. <laughs> Wolf's debating if he wants to tackle Populous again. I mean, let's just get it done, man. I don't know. I mean, I know I, I feel bad saying that because I really haven't contributed a whole lot. Maybe like 60 level progressions now, but yeah. I'm probably not going to touch UN Squadron until... Populous is done, so oh, that's can, gonna really. give me an excuse to help. Certain games we can, I don't think that would be one of them though. Unless it's like, you know, practicing, I guess. Yeah, whatever, but. A little loop there, okay. Shit, power, right? Ugh. What you really want is to, uh, if you build enough train tracks, they give you a train station to put up. And at that point, you're pretty good but you want to make sure it connects at a pretty good point. Right, because, like, I don't know, it seems like the train that's on the rails is kind of just there for show in this game. Yeah, it is. It's not like it's, you know, it's not like they added uh, real mechanics to it. Yeah. It's just, um, it adds some sort of modifier to traffic and um, availability, like travel availability or something like that. Thing is, like, I'm not gonna have the budget to pay for like city uses and stuff if the taxes are low. So I'm gonna have to hope that they aren't too mad about the taxes. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's already giving me advice on tax. I check. Uh, okay, residential demand's not going down though so far. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was their top complaint last year too, was taxes, but it hasn't gone up any before I'm still in favor with them but traffic's still really high on their list oh was it I, mean, I was looking at yeah, it was, uh, I'm pretty sure it said 17 percent yeah it wasn't even there last year actually try and find some uh, real bad areas yeah, yeah. Um, you, if you go into the graphs, it might have a graph for it, even. Yeah, it does, but you can also just look at the little blue car dots. So, almost like, if I take out that road, that'd be a good one to take out, I think. And then, that one's pretty bad. I don't know, I just want to still have logic behind my, like, roads, if that makes sense. Yeah, I gotcha. Alright, um, one thing I would do, well, now you got a railroad going up there. You gotta destroy that little piece of road, though. What? Oh, yeah, at, oh, at, yeah. At the T-section. Yeah. I did see that, yeah. Thanks. Oh, shit. And I keep cutting power lines when I do that. And then, I don't know, the power in this game is weird. It doesn't restore for, like, a while. It's annoying. Oh, wait, oh, wait. shit. That, yeah, you got it now. I I don't want to sound like I'm telling you how to play because no, you're really fine. doing fine. No, fine. 
I uh, already failed at Detroit Crime, so I mean, it's possible to fail. <laughs> I think I just, that was the problem, is I ran out of money, and then like, well, it's like I solved the issue as the police station and stuff, and then I couldn't pay them. So this game works differently, you can't go into the negatives, just you can't pay them, you can't pay them, the budget cuts right. itself. Like, I don't even remember it doing that, to be honest, like cutting itself like that. It's crazy. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. There's yeah, still know. quite a bit of traffic. These rails look good to me. Though. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. If it's like... Hmm. It would almost be like nice when these... If, well, the residential demand is going down. Okay. Yeah, shit. You, you were on vacation, right? Like, how was that? It was pretty good. We went, we went hiking in two different spots. One of the spots had this, um, it was kind of like a natural water slide. Ooh, like ooh. the, the river cut it out of the rock and it was super smooth. Like I, I took a couple of, um, slides down where I went completely off and was just sliding on rock and it was still so smooth. It didn't hurt. Yeah. I was going to say that sounds painful, but wow. Nice. And then um, the last day yesterday, we went caving and went into this cave where um, we had to squeeze through a hole. It was like half a football field long, but it was just big enough for me to fit in. And I had to like um, army crawl through this hole just to get to an underground river. Wow. That sounds pretty nice. Like where was this at? Was this like some vacation spot or? That's kind of, yeah, it's pretty touristy. It's um, near Grandfather Mountain in North Carolina. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you're in Carolina? Yep. Okay, yeah. I know a guy in, uh, I think, Rally? I forgot where he might have moved again, but... It was, uh, it was well worth it. I'm just so sore now. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's weekend at least, so you probably don't have any work to go to or anything. Right now, right now. Yeah, I'm happy about that. <laughs> yeah. No, it's always a nice thing when you do something like that. It's like, I don't know, I try to not plan, like, strenuous activities on, like, Sundays. So it's like, oh, it's going to suck the next day. Especially, I do a physical job for my summer job, so it's like, yeah. Yeah, I, I planned it out so that I had the, the weekend to rest. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Okay, jeez, these freaking traffic things. Um, I just need to get rid of that fucking road, too. How long do you have until, like, they they all have deadlines. What's your deadline for this, this one, one? This one's 10 years. That's why money's a worry. Okay, so ni 1966, you started at 1960? 65 to, so 65, we gotta go till eight or 75, probably. Oh, okay. It's only been a year? Yep. <laughs> So, yeah. well, I don't think you're stuff. doing too bad. And when, if it gets close, just start destroying the roads that have traffic. What do you mean? Just to get money back or whatever? No, um, well, that I guess it's all dependent on if you have any money left or not. But like as it gets close to your deadline, if you destroy the roads with the traffic on it, it really will um, minimize your penalty. <laughs> yeah. Hang on a sec. What? That's just like, um, you know, last case, uh, worst yeah, case. Yeah. Oh, okay, no, I'm making four grand this year, apparently. That's because oh, the fire fund got cut to like 8%, though. This is collected, especially. Oh, no, no, I'm no shit, I'm like going to zero. Well, that's wonderful. <laughs> All right. Bra or lower the taxes now and see if you'll uh, gain some population and well I mean I just lost all my money even with the high taxes yeah I would lower it okay. yeah. if you're not getting citizens um, to develop then you're not going to be getting any money anyways yeah just, I don't want to exploit the fast forward button but might be an idea What's up, Glenn? Taxation is theft. Oh, shit. 
Agreed. Shit. What's up? I tried to remember what button my fast forward is mapped to on my keyboard. I don't use my keyboard. Uh, I keyboard. see. And you, you bounced out. Yep. Well, that wasn't looking like it was going too good, I guess, so... Fuck. Well, don't worry about putting the railroads around the city. Um, it's more beneficial to have it going by roads. So if you put it, like, in the center next to roads, you're going to get more benefit from it. Okay. Also, hey, Glenn. How's it going? I'm not too bad. No. Yeah. I have to some more R-type. Yeah. You mean you're not, you're not, you, you're sick of populace yet? No. <laughs> I'm just preparing. Yeah, that's fair. I'm sick of it, and I've uh, played the least out of everybody that's touched it, I think, so. Oh, no, so no. Well, yeah, I guess I've played it the least, because I haven't yet. Well, that's what I mean, people have touched it, yeah. Oh, you're missing out. <laughs> I mean, an absolute blast. It's not the worst. It's just... I don't know. I don't want to play that kind of game on a controller, first of all. That was how it was intended on the Super Nintendo, man. Yep. <laughs> I'm playing on the real deal, son. Well, this was a DOS game, wasn't it? It was a computer game. I thought, at least. Let's... Okay, there we go. It was on PC, and it was on PlayStation, and, it's, I mean, oops, it was still good on, uh, Super Nintendo. Are you, have you played it before? Yeah. Okay. Oops. Huh. I'm so not used to doing scenarios in these games. There we go. This weird park thing again. So, oh. you're saying that going across roads is better than going beside them? No, uh, I want to go around the city. Like last time, you kind of built all the way around. Yeah. Don't yeah, do I want to worry. I want to worry about going all the way around it. I yeah. would go through it if you could. Yeah. Well, that costs a lot to go around it too, so it's not going to do me much good. But, you know. Go. Well, so I don't know, I kind of want to get this game done before I'm on my vacation, because I know Populous is definitely going to be done at this point, like, before that's up, so. Well, we don't necessarily know that. We, we haven't seen what the last 100 levels have. Yeah, us. that's very true. It could just be a massive wall. Yep. And of course, you know, the last level. Not really, why? Because I want you to go move your car. Because uh, I parked it in front of the old people's house. Are we all going to do the last level together? You're not going to. I don't know. I think I'm, I'm gonna, if I Ken wants to have first right dibs on it, he can Where have first dibs because he's done the most. Are we an hour? It's up to him. Alright. <sighs> okay. Wait momentarily, what's going on? Uh, I was gonna say, like, I don't know. The levels really haven't seemed to get any harder in Populous from what I've played. Having played, like, level 70, somewhere in the hundreds, like, pretty much all, a bunch of the 500 chunk today, whatever I took. I don't know. It's got its levels. It's once in a blue moon. Yeah, there's one level that the one I left off or whatever was kind of annoying because they just seemed to get a night off like right away, and it was just a shit show because like I couldn't, I don't know, I was like on the top of the mountain, so to try and like do the quick building or whatever was costing a lot of mana to raise the land up to that le uh, level. So yeah, I think it was just about getting down to the lower levels somehow. 
Okay, there's that. This is pretty much how I build my cities when I play the Sim Cities. I just do like the little square bricks everywhere. Maybe not like I don't make it like one tile set between each one, but you know. Well, for the most part, it's okay to do that. Um, I can't remember if residential has a double one. It, it's like left to right double, um, but I know commercial can. It, you'll get a huge, like, commercial building. Oh, yeah, I don't. I didn't even know about that. I just mean, like, usually I put, like, I don't know, four and a chunk vents around them with the road kind of thing. I'm playing SimCity 2000, it's even more than that, usually. Oh, yeah, they, they, uh, there's definitely, like, I'm, Missing words from my vocabulary. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Been there. Uh, there's definitely a, an efficient, like, um, grid pattern you should do for SimCity 2000, but uh, it pretty much lets you experiment a lot. But for this one, it, you don't want to waste space at all. Yep. Which one do I want to go through there? Oh, probably that guy there. Okay, let me just delete that and then make sure I get the power line back before everything freaks out again. Just don't want to spend too much money. For some reason, I'm just going to black screen from the stream. I don't know if it's just me. I think it's just you. At least the feed I'm getting is showing everything. Like, do you hear the game or is it just kind of nothing? Yeah. Hmm, let me check uh, mine real quick. I boot up the actual Twitch site. Well, on my end, it's showing that it's uh, it's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna close my browser and come back. Yeah, I think it's you. Okay, well, good, good thing I checked, anyways. Ah, uh, <laughs> stop. I hate the auto go to, I gotta turn that off. Shit. There we go. Okay, there we go. Inadequate rail system. <laughs> Screw you too, game. <laughs> Working on it. Got this, man. Maybe. Alright. Um. Hmm. I'll be doing another one around the top there. I'd actually bridge across if I do that too. So much that one. Uh, actually, that looks not bad on that one. So the stadium is annoying. Yeah. The stadium's good though. I know it's in a bad spot, but that's um, a really good money maker. Oh, I know. It's almost like I should make another one or something, possibly. Anything to bring in income. I forgot exactly how this game works. Oh, they have a couple stadiums already, actually. Yeah, stadiums, and um, you get some kind of bonus for casinos. Oh, yeah. More crime, I think, as I recall. Yeah. Is that a bank up there? I think that's saw one. A bank? Um... Yeah, to the right. Um... No, maybe I just saw it wrong. Could be. I don't know. Forget how far I even ever got with this game. I don't think I ever got, uh... I think I got, like, pretty far, but not to the max size. The bank is one of the rewards. Like, they give you a house, a yeah. drone, and then they give you, uh, 
possibly the bank next. It just, it just keeps building. Here's what I gotta do. Oh no, you don't get the bank until... I think it has to be free scenario mode or whatever. Or, you know, free build. Yeah. But um, once you get under a certain amount of money, and a certain population, they give you the chance to get banked, because then you can get loans. Oh, loans. I was gonna say, I don't remember loans in this game. Yeah, but the guy, he only gives you, like, one loan, unless you can pay off, or pay back. Doesn't matter when I'm only loan. doing a scenario for, like, ten years, just need to get the loan and get out. Right, I can't remember how much it's for, though. Cause that's how loans are supposed to work, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one's not gonna intersect. Whatever. Kind of making a mess of the roads, but whatever. Let's leave that as is, probably. Yeah, and then. Yeah. I gotta increase the speed too. Always forget that. I'm not sure. Like, uh, I, I already have a seaport. I don't know if they have an airport around here. I think that's good money generator, though. I think that's. Oh, they I do. Could be wrong, but I thought it was more population. Could be, yeah. But I mean, that is money in turn, really. Right. Okay. Just trying to see if I see any more. I'm gonna play this by where I see bad traffic more so, because I can't be putting road railways everywhere. If I just see like one intersection with it, it's not really that bad to me for now. If I'm seeing like a whole cluster of it, like there, yeah, I gotta do something. Oh, I can almost actually get to that too, almost. Our type's way more relaxing than Gradius. <laughs> yes, it is. Probably in Darius Twin, too. Uh, Darius Twin wasn't really that bad. No? Um, no, out of the Darius games, Darius Force is a hard one. Okay. But I, I think, um, I'm not sure if it's called Darius Force in the US. They might call it Supernova. Oh, is that on Super Nintendo? Yeah. I've played that, yeah. Can't remember when, I just know I played Supernova. I think probably for one of the contests Retro Uprising did back in the days. I wonder if I can actually... Yeah, okay, here, here's what I'm gonna try. Darius Twin is pretty fun because of the multiplayer, but Force doesn't let you, so... You're just on your own, getting slaughtered. Oh, that's wonderful. It's like Ikaruga in one player. Which is mostly what I've done with Ikaruga. From what little I've played. That's a fun one. Okay, so we're, we're losing money, but not we're not bleeding money this time. I'm gonna raise the tax rate one. Try and survive off that. It should be fine, but the thing is, the more rails I have to construct, that's gonna cost a ton. And... Well, alright, so you're only going for fixing traffic, right? Yep. Raise taxes all the way up, and everyone moves out. It'll be like Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> but then the traffic's fixed, because the people aren't there. Right. But doesn't the city, I don't know how these scenarios work, doesn't the city also need to, like, prosper, too? Yeah, I think so. I think you gotta be making some sort of income. <laughs> I, I've been, like, I've won a couple of these scenarios when I wasn't in favor of the citizens, so, I, like, I don't know where the, they draw the line. Well, as long as they don't oust you, because they can't. 
I guess, yeah. We could just, like, 20% tax it for, like, one year. Get a bunch of money back if we need to, I guess. Well, it's like a if Hail they Mary. move out before um, the end of the year, then you lose out anyways. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I don't want to use the exploit where you raise the tax, like, in December. I don't think that would be in the spirit of this whole thing. Still fucking tripping problems there. That's annoying. It's gonna like replace this whole section with fucking railways almost. It's not going away. Too bad you can't just replace it with like canals. <laughs> Have you played much City Skylines at all, or is that like a game you're into? That kind of genre? I got it, and the game is beautiful. Yes. But I really, I really didn't get into it like I did some city. Hmm. See, I've got like For 74 me. hours in it or something. It's easy to pick up during the school year when I'm pretty busy at the university, and when I do have time, I can pick that up. Right. For me, um, SimCity 3000 was my favorite version. Is it 3? I never got to play that one, but it was on sale on good old games a while ago, and I wanted to see it, so I do have it. I mean to play it a bit more, but yeah, it's it's pretty nice. And then SimCity 4, I felt like that was a lot like SimCity 2000, but I'd still rather play 2000. 4 didn't look appealing to me. It looked like it was kind of like that awkward, like, aesthetic. I don't know. It was like this awkward 3D aesthetic that wasn't quite there yet. Yeah, it, it really was like a, I mean, it was an improvement, but I don't feel like a lot of them were um, major improvements from what you could do in 3. Well, certainly not with 5, because I did play a bit of that, and even just going back from like, City Skylines basically just took everything that 5 did do right, because I, I, I think 5 did do things right, but it did more wrong, obviously. Yeah, I... I only know hearsay from five. Like I was excited for it, and then people told me it wasn't so great. Yeah, well, like the always online thing. Like a year later, they patched that so you could play single player. But it's like too little, too late, and the city sizes were like I'm sure you've heard it all. The city sizes were tiny. Yeah. yeah. And you use like it was kind of this like systematic thing where you could like run multiple cities yourself and have them like all have different purposes. So that was kind of fun, and that's not something. Skylines really gets, but whatever. Get rid of that super uh, busy bridge there. The one closest to your cursor. Replace it with railroad. I was kind of thinking about that already. But yeah, I agree. That's a really bad spot. Yeah, well, the other bridge is just as bad. If not worse. I think I might just rail through the center of this whole strip, too. Uh, another good thing about the railroad is uh, I'm pretty sure the boat cannot crash into it. <laughs> good, because that boat driver's on crack. He can't, yeah. he can't drive. Every scenario I've done, it's like one minute into it, the ship crashes. Is Wolf playing Populous? I will never object to him playing it. It's less I have to play, as bad as that sounds. I think he's just yeah. watching. He plays so, in chat, I think, with us. He's just not on mic. Oh, no. He, uh, well, he left he chat, but it, I see him on the friends list, and it says he's watching this channel. Yeah, his, his uh, Discord doesn't say it's an S9X, so... Usually that's a good indication that he's playing it. gotta go out a little later but I'll be back and then uh all right game on <laughs> oh, it's oh for populous yeah well you said you have played populous you already know kind of how to do it I guess I don't know how far I've ever got into it because I I know I didn't play through it but uh I did like it a lot there's no proof online of anyone ever beating it that's what throws us a bit <laughs> Oh, uh, somebody must have, because I thought somebody had played through all the Super Nintendo games. 
Yeah, they must have been pretty upset when they hit that one too. They're like, oh fuck, 989 levels. This one? <laughs> this is the fifth game? Yeah. That's I, what it's like. I feel like not even Kablooey was like this not in favor with the group or myself. It's just like... I mean, I think... Like, I don't know. I like Populous for what it is. I just don't want that many levels of it. Alright, I, I think most of the people who played and like Populous probably played the beginning parts. <laughs> yeah. Well, now that we know all like, the tricks and stuff, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple, like, real-time strategy kind of thing, almost. Pre it's a great stuff. game. It's just way too long. Well, right. I like I, I don't know who I was telling, but I was like it should really take the Sim City format that they had in the Super Nintendo, where it's like you have like eight scenarios or seven or whatever it is that they've handcrafted and made, and then they have like an RNG thing that has 999 levels for free play mode. If Populous took that model and made its 999 levels that are not handmade because they're not handmade in Populous, they're like generated through algorithms then they could have had a pretty nice little thing there. And it, they could have spent more time on making like seven really good scenario levels or something like this. Alright, uh, well you're not losing much, but you're losing a little. Losing a little, and I don't think people are moving out like mad. So, yeah. I'm gonna try and hold steady because I should with those. Yeah, if I'm if I'm losing about a grand a year, I should make it roughly. Okay. But I'm gonna raise the tax a bit because I need to try and buy it sometime. So I think I'm actually losing about sixteen hundred. If no one's playing populous, I am right now. Nice. That's R-Type. I think you got R-Type in the bag, though. <laughs> There'll be some games like that. I'm just like... I guess my biggest fear is like... I don't want anyone to take Super Earth Defense Force and that comes up, because I can just sweep that. I just, just like, while well, I'm gone. But yeah. I think that's a good distance away. It probably still won't be unlocked while I'm gone. There's only like two games on this entire list of library that like I absolutely want. And that's uh, like Super Earth Defense Force and Top Gear 3000. Never. Well, I'm gonna that, argue with uh, Yeah, go ahead. I'm not gonna say anything about it. <laughs> I don't think many people have played it. It's, just, it's that it's a shmup that I owned, and it's one of the only ones I ever got good at as a result. So, I love shmups. I don't have patience for them typically, but that one I can. I can probably beat that in a single attempt, if not two, but it should just be a single attempt. I know which guns to use in every level, it's, it, it'll be fine. And it, I love it, I love that game. Okay. Go fast to pass, word. Shit. Okay, so I should try and find a rail to go through here. Uh, that's gonna be a decent expenditure. Let's look at the voice and stuff, see what people are saying. Traffic is at 11%. I'm not sure what I need to get it below. Or does it need to not even be listed as the worst problems? Uh, it's gonna be there. I'd try and get it under 10 if you can. I was gonna say, I would feel like 10, like maybe 9 or lower would be the benchmark. All right. It did lose uh, people last year, but how much? Nah, I think like a couple thousand. Almost like, is it worth? Stadium's three grand. I don't know if that's worth investing in, but depends how much it generates, I guess. It looks like there's a lot of room for the city to still grow too, if you want to attempt to. That's a that. fair point, actually. And the demand on everything is up, so... Try and do that, yeah, just here and there. Oh, if we put some residential near the stadium, that would be good. So I think, well, I forget what the most profit is. I think it's from industrial, actually, but... I shouldn't have too much of a problem with this level. 
What's the what? What is the stipulations on that level? All you get is he outnumbers you uh, four to two, and then all you get, all you have is earthquakes. The landscape is rock and lava. Yikes! I always want, I always want mountain in my arsenal when I play that. Personally. Yeah. If I don't have it, then I'm kind of have a hard time. Mind it. What does he uh, have, though? Sorry. Everything. Oh, no, he just has earthquakes. And oh. Just have earth yeah, you can mirror that pretty well then. As long as it's not like you don't have mountains, but he does. That's what pisses me off. It's like, ugh. I don't really mind those. Mountains are really easy to get rid of with the hot key. I guess that's just true. go to the top. All you like ten pointed this out. Just go up to the top, hold L and hold B until it sinks all the way down in the water. Hmm. And then, because it'll get rid of all the rocks in the middle. Huh. All right. That's a good trick to know, too. Always have volcanoes at your disposal. You can make the makeshift ones. Yeah. You can really suck them over and just, like, build a fucking mountain with no rocks. Yeah. <laughs> That's always fun. That slows them down. I always try to make sure I get my population like really high before I um, like let the game finish. So I'll, like send one night to kind of fuck his day up, and then I'll just like send my guys back to building, settle the shit out of everything until my meters all the way at blue, and then I'll start spamming nights <laughs> and make yeah. sure that I win a ton of battles that way too. And then I think I'm usually good. And I I every time I've done that, I've advanced like five levels or so. so. It's nine earlier. Wow. Two hundred six thousand five hundred points. I didn't even know that was possible. I thought it was five was max. I make dreams come true, sir. <laughs> I've been averaging as of late. Fuck the traffic is still this traffic's insane. What is, oh, are you streaming? Yeah. Like, why is my phone dinging? Frames like crazy. It's really fun at work when like, um, so I've been like running my music off my phone lately with that Spotify I finally got. And uh, whenever like, I have like Discord stuff muted, so like I check it when I want to check it kind of thing, but like, I get emails for whenever like one of the Twitch Informo channel goes live or your channel goes live. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'll, my music will be playing and suddenly it'll just like drop to like zero volume <laughs> while it's doing the notification sound. And I'm like, oh, what's that? I'm like, oh, I guess someone's streaming again. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, let's get rid of this guy, I guess. There's too much traffic on that road, then that road's gone. Fuck, the traffic's just getting worse somehow. I left this area a while ago and there was like nothing and now it's just everywhere. And actually, I prefer them only having earthquakes because earthquakes are a godsend. They're one of the best things that the computer can do to you. Yeah, they're really not bad. Because what happens is they automatically remove everyone from the houses and they go and populate even more. Yep. And you can build back your houses. Do you know about the tricks to get a to get more settlers to come out of your villages sooner? Yeah. Like lowering a piece of land on the outskirts of it, and then he pops out or whatever. Yep. Yeah, I do a bunch of that too. <sighs> oh, sh oh shoot! What did I just do? I just built like five roads. Wrong button. Stop. Helicopter. What the fuck? The fuck is the traffic getting worse? Okay, I'm losing nine hundred dollars. Okay. Actually, you know what? I can say fuck the police and fire funds a bit, probably. So that's not the that's not the uh, thing I need yeah, to do in this scenario. Yeah, that's okay. There we go. 
Okay. What's that? I always love this game's music. This game has like a lot of charm on the Super Nintendo. I thought it came out for a DS and they brought back the Dr. What's his name? Mr. Wright or something? Um, the DS had SimCity DS. I, there, there was one after I never played that I heard was actually better, but I actually played the crap out of SimCity DS. I got it on like launch day because I didn't like. I literally looked it up. I was like, I wonder if any SimCity games are on DS, and it was like coming out the next day. So I just went and bought it, and I was like young still at the time. But um, yeah, it was. It was pretty good. It, it really emulated after 3000. From what I've been playing 3000, there's literally some music tracks from the 3000 in that one. The aesthetic was very similar. The kind of building was very similar. And they had like the advisors, much like 3000. They just kind of animated them more than just pictures of them. That's cool. But the annoying thing about... The only things I remember being annoyed by with that one constantly was you could get... And I don't know if this is true for 3000 because I haven't seen it from what little I play, but you could get like citizens coming in to meet with you constantly or requesting to meet you and it would just be like constantly like this old woman asking for more hospitals and stuff and just things that didn't make sense because it's like you have enough hospitals and stuff it just like it seemed like it was glitched out almost where it just people would ask for things and they didn't really make sense right so i don't know i really wish they had uh, pulled the trigger and released like SimCity 64. Yeah. That had the advisor, I know. In Japan or whatever. Ah, uh, tra- Fuck's traffic going up. Jesus. I don't get yeah, it. 15%. Am I not doing the right thing? I thought you could literally just no, replace No, you're, you're doing it right. Uh, they're not going to make it easy on you. I think it just constantly builds up unless you've got a surefire thing. Well, the, yeah, the population's building up, that's for sure. And you haven't got a train station yet. Yeah. But it's going to be really hard without spending all the money. Does it really need that many? Um... For the train station to happen, you need a set amount of train tracks. Um, I want to say it's like, it's got to be more than 50, I, I can't remember. It's a set number though. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I gotta delete that guy. Pretty much, I think I'm gonna go against what I said. I'm pretty much just gonna end up replacing all the roads with train tracks in the end. That's what it's looking like. I'm trying to do it in a nice algorithm, but at the moment it's just like it needs to be everywhere. Yeah, because it's just popping up like crazy. Everywhere. Yeah, like you're seeing this. It's just like it was dead like a year or two ago. I like it. Looked like I had fixed the problem in this part of the city a couple years ago. Well, I mean, if I don't beat this before I go on vacation, Chris is going to have a really interesting time with a lot of these, I think. When are you going on vacation again? Uh, well, I don't know. You guys, Do you guys have the August long weekend there in the States? Like, coming up this next... I think it's next weekend? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Well, we got, like... I think it's, like... I think it's actually called, like, Civic Holiday or something. It's... It's um, basically like a Monday, it's just kind of like a Labor Day sort of thing. And uh, everybody gets it off, national holiday. And uh, so that's my next weekend's like Monday. But I also like, I only worked with this job for like two months. So I just kind of requested a couple of unpaid days off uh, on my Wednesday and Thursday. And uh, so I'm just taking Wednesday to through Monday basically. Nice, that was good. 
Yeah. Just waiting for the power to restore itself everywhere. But yeah, I'll be gone for like, I think it's like five or six days there. I think I'm actually, I'm coming back to Sunday night to avoid traffic. Uh, <laughs> it's funny because we're playing a game mode about traffic, but to avoid traffic coming back on the Monday because that tends to get pretty bad. Did you learn anything? Take the train. <laughs> I don't think there's a train going out there. I don't think there's many transportation trains, like, in existence in this country, at least. Like, within cities, yeah, I know Calgary, Edmonton, Vancouver all have their own, like, inner city tram sort of thing going on now. Yeah. They gotta have one that goes across the nation, right? Well, yeah, there's like CPR or whatever, but that's just like a transport line for uh, goods and shit. Oh, really? No people? I don't think so. Like, they might be able to put passenger trains on it. I think, I actually remember my buddy, because he's coming from Quebec, like, which is across the coast, for, coast to coast here, pretty much. And um, he said there was like some sort of line was offering deals, like, that you could pretty much take the train system for free this year or something, and I was like, there's a train system. Oh, well, that's, um, I, earlier this year, I kept seeing stuff for, uh, how to take a train trip from, like, New York to California for almost nothing, but then, it died out. I haven't seen one in a while. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind a long ride so much if I had the time to spare, and, um, you know, you just bring DS or whatever and just kill time for 17 hours or whatever the hell it would be. The only bad part is, um, last time I took the train, they charged for good Wi-Fi, so... Uh, eh, I can live without Wi-Fi for a couple days or whatever. It's fine. I did, just now, you know, this week. But... Well, yeah, I mean, like, if you're on that kind of vacation, it's like, when I'm on my vacations, like... I'll probably be checking in on the Discord when I'm like up late at night, but for the most part, I'm just gonna be like, yeah, we're gonna be out in a boat and shit. If I could do it again, I'd still wish for Wi Fi. <laughs> <laughs> I'd live without Wi Fi. Oh, you use, you use just, your data, right? Yeah, and... Plugged in? Yeah. No. I have a very old flip phone that doesn't get internet. No, oh, I meant for uh, just internet in general. Yeah. I would have loved to have something. When I, when I travel, I have nothing I carry on me that can do Wi-Fi. Oh, that's what you mean, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I don't, and... I don't need the internet to have a good time, son. No. Especially if I'm on vacation, I'd rather just be a fucking thing. That's what I was just saying. Well, like, I don't know about rather, but yeah, yeah, rather, probably. I wish I could say the same. I definitely missed it. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty wired in during the summers, at least, but... I don't know, at least during the last school year, I'd have, like, three part-time jobs, new school, and all this shit, so... It's not the case this year. I'm super glad that scholarship came in. Because that just gets me over the the hump of having to save up enough money to go through the school year without a job. So, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, that's good. Nice message. Yeah. Well, I mean, the only reason I got the scholarship is because I had to, like, quit one of my, like, my pretty much my final job uh, last semester. So it's kind of unexpected, but then my grades were as good as they've ever been. I'm like, okay, uh, this just kind of confirms that I've had two years where things fell through with work because, you know, these part-time jobs like to make it more important to work than, you know, do your school, which I'm never going to be on that mindset, obviously. And so, like, that's been the last couple of years. And then on top of that, I had that semester without a job, and I had better grades by tenfold, and I got pretty much... The amount of money I lost by losing the shitty part-time work, I got back in scholarships, so it's like... And then some. <laughs> so like, I don't know. It makes sense to me. You've almost been through five years on this, by the way. And, uh, yep. 
I have thanks. Well, I mean, our demand is up on everything. You know what? I'm actually going to raise the taxes again because I need to I need to keep myself afloat here. Seems like having oh. these railways is making everything's demand go up or something. Because they're, they're all maxed. All three meters. Yeah. I'm just going to start building. I, mean, I don't want to spend too much money building, like, plots, but I'm going to build some commercial plots. I'm actually kind of curious about that other DS SimCity now. I know they had like, they had the SimCity DS with like the orange box cover look thing, but they had some sort of like SimCity 2 or something that had like, it was like, I think the box there was like a magnifying glass looking at it. Obviously they also had that weird SimCity creator thing that I had on the Wii that was like, I think it was probably fine. It's just like trying to play that on point and click on the Wii was frustrating. Uh, okay, so first one, was the orange box on the SimCity DS? Yeah. And then I did see something that said SimCity DS2. Yeah, and it was like a magnifying glass or something. And I think I heard that was like received very well, but not many people actually got it, kind of thing or something. Which, if that's the case, that's probably the last SimCity that EA's made that's oh, and yeah, they did favorable. Have a 64. Yeah, uh, Japan got it, I think. They had a 64 and they had a 64DD one, of all yeah. things. I'm looking at, like, the, the main series and the other games in the main series. So they're just running down the list. They got SimCity 2000, 3004, and Rush Hour, and then SimCity 2013. Uh, 64 DS Societies, no. Snap City, DS2 Creator, and Social. Yeah, they've had some bad run ins. Kind of like Roller Coaster Tycoon. They tried to do their whole DS or 3DS Roller Coaster Tycoon. Then they announced Roller Coaster Tycoon 4 and it was a mobile game. It's like some missteps there for sure. Society's kind of has the old school look, but it, it looks like it could have been more like Skylines. It, the thing with Society's, from what I understand, is it's not a lot like SimCity in the way that you actually, uh, you substitute just building, um, plots of land that build themselves for actually picking individual buildings yourself and handpicking uh, them. And it's, uh, yeah. it's like, it's a cool idea, I guess, but I don't know. I think it flopped pretty good, but it managed to get an expansion back. There's a pretty good retrospective on YouTube that I watched that covered pretty much every version of the SimCity that's ever existed. And I, I guess I know a fair amount about it myself because I have some weird ones like 2000 on the Saturn. Right. Which I, I got because it had like the best aesthetic. It was like really cool. They had a future aesthetic too. But it's just like really kind of laggy and uh, obviously using a controller for 2000s never worked out too well. Oh, they do have a mouse for the Saturn, but I'm not sure if it works with it. I imagine it probably would actually if, if it exists. I was actually looking at the Super Nintendo mouse compatibility the other day for this thing, uh, this contest, and it, I guess it works for a lot more games than I thought it did. Yeah. I know one of them's Doom actually, because I think you're playing that, so. Yeah, um, I don't, well, I don't see the mouse being too helpful for that one, huh? Yeah, I mean that version's, I don't think that version's that bad or anything, it's, it's fine. I, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm used to using the L and R to strafe and stuff like that. Um, yeah, because I think that's what that version did. That's what the 32X version lacked, I think, was, you know, strafing. It was like you had to hold down a button and do it or something, or yeah. you just didn't get it at all. Which, it's kind of necessary in Doom. Awful alternate keys. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, when you only have three buttons on your controller, like, what are you gonna do for a game like that? No, the worst part was, is they had the six-button controller at that time. I know, but they didn't use it. <laughs> yeah. Which, I, I don't know, I kind of get it, it makes it accessible or whatever, but it's not really an instance where you want to do that. Well, at least with Mortal Kombat 2 for 32X, they had, um, they had it in the options. You could choose a layout for 6 button or 3 button, and they didn't do it in, well, the options for 2 32X were awful anyways. See, like, games today kind of get it right in the way that, like, you can set your own controls for just about everything, at least on computer. I don't know why that's... When, like, a game gets uh, ridiculed for having bad controls, I don't know why the fix isn't just, you know, put a programmable controls in yourself. <laughs> it's really well, they were, during the, the, like, Super Nintendo 16-bit run, they were really trying to add options to everything, but it was really generic, and most games only had, like, a sound test and, you know, just really basic stuff. Yeah. Pretty much the first thing I do whenever I boot up any computer game for the first time these days is hit the options menu right away. See what I can render it at, all that fun stuff, and yeah. Right. I don't know, ever since I built a computer, it's just been, it's been really nice. Like, I used to kind of collect, but, I don't know, Desire's kind of died in a way, now it's like, I got the Super Nintendo controller for computer, now it's like, I really have no issues with emulators, so I got the perfect 2D controller for it. I just really need a good 3D controller, and the other thing with me with emulators is they need to be pretty damn well perfect. If they're like, if they're at, if they're sitting like below 95%, then you know, no. Then it's then it's I'd rather be playing the hardware. But. Right. I'd rather be playing the hardware myself, anyways. But I mean, ideally, uh, but you know, just like the fact that I go to university and it's like cost of everything, it's like. I don't know, I, I, I check my Steam library and I've never spent more than $20 on a single game. You just you catch the sales right and stuff. Yeah, well, Steam is a godsend anyways. That's amazing stuff. Yeah, well, I mean, it's that and, like, I really can play pretty much a game from any generation and enjoy it for what it is. Not be like... Like, I was playing Night's Old Republic recently and buddy's like, oh, how are you doing that? It's like, you know, it's, it's aged a bit. There's not, like, as much you can do. I'm like, yeah, it's still an amazing game. He's like, the graphics don't bother you? I'm like, not even slightly. It's fine. It's like, I don't know. What that was a weird one to me, because I don't even know what to complain about, about, like, graphics in that game, because with the computer, again, you can make it look like an early Xbox 360 game. It's, it's just, I don't know. Right. I'm really interested in uh, SimCity 64 now. <laughs> From what I remember, the retrospective talked on it, at least the, the 64 version, not the disk drive version, is it had some sort of weird integrated horse racing game, too, and, like, a dating sim somehow thrown into it. So it's, like, a really interesting port, just because it's really weird that way. Yeah. Dating sim? That's a wolf Sally. I know. <laughs> I know it is. As soon as I was saying it, I thought of wolf immediately. <laughs> they also have a, like, night mode. Oh yeah. There's I a guess. I don't know how into like roller coaster tycoon you are, but there's a there was a pretty cool mod that's getting literally updated every like few hours for the past several years called OpenRCT2 for Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. And basically it's been able to integrate online play with somebody else and uh, it's implemented a lot of things like debug menus and like fun cheats and stuff and uh, a day and night cycle, most importantly. Which is really sweet for that game. That's what I Well, I'm gonna have to go for a little bit, but I'll be back. Alright. Okay. That's all good. How's your populace going, Glenn? Good. Good. Advanced any more levels? No, I'm still on this one. Okay. It's, um <clears throat> They have you on complete opposite ends of the map, yeah. like on corners, on a small island. We both start off on a small island, so you have to build all the way over there. Oh, shit, my taxes are killing me. 
Okay, go figure, I guess. Damn, we're gonna lose quite a bit of money there. Let's see if, oh god, all right. Tails wants to have us grind it all the time. Oh, the uh, populace, yeah. I know he does. Oh, yeah. When none of us are grinding, he should take over. Yep. We've got pretty much the game getting played around the clock, it'll be done. <laughs> Trust me, none of us want to play it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... Fuck, I played the most I played of it today. I'm just... I'm done. <laughs> we all had the attitude of... This game would never get anywhere. Well, I always thought it would. I didn't think it was going to be as bad as anybody was saying. I played my first time. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to go with that. Hope I get start getting my population back. Four years to complete scenario. I gotta, I gotta fast forward. This is take way too freaking long. Cause I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose at this point. Come on. Shit. What the hell did I set for? Customize hotkeys. Speed plus, I think, isn't it? Yeah. That's not good. That's not what I want. Speed minus, okay. Oops, come on. Uh, set it back to minus. Damn it. Okay, minus. I need the fast forward button, not that. <coughs> Could have swore. Oh, fuck, right there. Tab, right. Kablooey. That's the last time I did do that. Yeah, to slow these fuckers down somehow. Okay, now we're not able to pay for all that shit. Actually, fucking be fine. Let's get fucking everybody to move back. Try and hail Mary that, I guess. There's no taxes. We'll move back, maybe. Totally are too. Okay, sweet. Okay, now, in order to get our money back, we're gonna have to go to... Fuck. Okay, let's hope that works. Before I do that, I'm gonna save real quick. Just to be sure, because I might actually want to run with some low taxes for the rest of it. Because, like, I don't know, the low taxes won't kill me. Crime might just skyrocket or something, but... <laughs> yes. You don't want that. Well, we're not playing Detroit crime. We don't need to worry about it becoming Detroit. Did you pass that one? No, I failed that one. I, I solved its crime issues by throwing a bunch of police stations in, but then I ran out of money, and I wasn't able to pay the police stations for the last for three years, and all the crime came back. Nice. Yeah. I like, uh, Wolf and I were reading it, and it was so funny, because it was like 1973 or something that one takes place in, and Wolf's like, you could just slap 2017 onto this. <laughs> <laughs> Crime, yep, crime's kicking up pretty bad. <laughs> Shit. Come on. Jeez. Okay, got our money. Okay, I think it's one year, yeah, yeah. Okay, now that we got that money, I just wanted to make sure, because we got it for that year. I don't think it matters now, but. Okay, now we're gonna, <laughs> no taxes for the last year. We're gonna try to repair all the fucking roads and shit that have gone amiss from crime. And, oh God, there's so many roads missing. The train tracks. It sucks a dick. Populous or my city? 
No, populous. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, I don't know how to run Switzerland. Are you like losing at it, or is it not being too bad? Both. I can tell you. <laughs> He's just spamming like every three seconds another earthquake. Uh, that's that's always fun. But this enough of this shit. I find it interesting with that game that they have all the different, like, looks for it, though. Like, that video game one's kind of cool, other than the ocean looking really shitty. I hope this beats the scenario for me, because I did cheese it pretty good. Oh fuck, I don't know how we take taking time account if I fast forward. I guess I'll just like, guesstimate how long that would have been. Probably shouldn't. You're done there, guys. And I just keep... I'm just gonna do this till I run out of mana. And I've built up my mana the entire game. It was actually... So... Sorry, go ahead. This is gonna be torture on their part. <laughs> yeah. They're not be able to get anything done. So, uh, Wolf and I were talking about it the other day, and we're like, well, with Populous, we haven't been streaming every single session, right? Mm -hmm. But, so we're like, oh, how do we keep track of time? Wolf's like, honestly, even if we did stream every one of them, I wouldn't want to track all that time. Or add all that up. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, what do we do then? He's like, oh, we're just gonna guesstimate it, I guess. Because fuck, it's just gonna be... I don't know, or just write on the list how many, how long did it take to complete? Too long. Well, I have all my archives and everything. Yeah, I have. I think today's the only time I didn't stream mine. Not that I played it a ton. I've played about four sessions of it. Today being the biggest. The other three sessions was like I beat a scenario or or two or three, I think. But every time I beat a scenario, I've advanced us, like, at least five stages. It's worked out pretty well that way. Um, maybe. This is gonna get real interesting, dude. Think it's gonna be close? Maybe. I'm feeling the same with mine right here. It's gonna be interesting. My population, like, it has been 100,000. I'm at 64,000 right now. I have enough money to repair all the shit that went down before. Ish. And we're on our final year. So it's like, I don't know if that 40,000 population drop is going to matter for this scenario, but the traffic's not bad because of the population drop, and the citizens are happy because there's zero taxes. Still funny looking at the YouTube, though. Most of the master playlist or whatever for all the games is just kablooey. <laughs> Wait till Populous gets uploaded. Yeah, well, I, well, Tensor and Wolf haven't been streaming very much of theirs. So, it, but still, yeah. I think Kablooey was 21 streams on Archive or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, funny. It just has to be more than 21. Okay. So that's the way it's going to be. Well, I'm actually only going to be 30,000. Actually, I'll only be 20,000 below what the city started at for population, so it's not too bad. By the looks of it, because it's, yeah, everything's increasing in demand, now all the roads are fixed. Well, still have a grand to fix all the road. 
I've done most of them, I think. They're still breaking apart. That's not even funny. Fuck. I couldn't repair what I've already repaired. Fuck. This is brutal. Whole fucking scenario for the last bit is just gonna be me trying to fight back all the roads that are decaying. <laughs> it's, it's, it's giving me something to do at least. I fast forward the last two years. I could, didn't have anything to do. It's like the one problem with this genre. There's a lot of downtime. Two thousand three thousand population, sweet. Probably hit eighty for sure. I wonder how bad the it's like Las Vegas is the unlockable scenario. I wonder how bad that's gonna be. I wonder what the theming for that's even gonna be. Crying, it's gotta be, right? Probably gotta be crying, yeah. Probably even worse than Detroit's in this game. So casinos bring crime? Uh, yeah, I, I believe so from what I remember of this game. Uh, when you're first introduced to the scenarios from the mayor, he's like, it'll bring a lot of like money in, but it'll also bring in a lot of crime. And that's like, that's like your catch-22 with it, as I recall. Great, I couldn't repair a bridge before I ran out of money. This should be interesting. <laughs> The roads are just gonna keep decaying too. Oh god. Just gotta make it like two months. The roads can go with no budget until then, right? Oh yeah. Oh fuck. Not really, there's a bunch of trains missing already. November. Oh, oh. Hmm? There's some pretty bad traffic there. Now we just go clean up. <sighs> Shit. Should be going in December soon. Yep. Okay. Just gotta make it. City's apparently doing great. I wanna see, just before I call bullshit on what might turn out here, what they're saying about traffic. It's not even on the complaints. Just crime and taxes are on the complaints. <laughs> it might be okay. It might cheese the scenario again, because all the scenarios care about is you fix the thing they asked for. They don't care about filling other things going wrong, apparently. Oh no. He's doing it again. Pissing me off. Please. Ah! I'm sorry about your plans for the city have failed. The residents are demanding a new mayor as your city is in great disorder. Let's think about what we went wrong in your master plan and try again. Fuck! God damn it. Let's try and load that. Oh, resume safe city. Okay. So, how many years do we have left to go here? 
Okay, so we have zero dollars this year. All right. Oh wait, let's. Ouch. Oh, fast right, forward. So wait. Oh right. What did I have the tax rate set to? Right. Okay. <laughs> God, everybody, don't move out on me. They're, they're totally gonna go. Just gonna make it. That's actually not too bad. I'm gonna recover from that. Recover from that. Hurry up. There we go. Oh, this doesn't give me any money back. Shit. Oh yeah, I just fucked him up, man. You got him? Once I, <laughs> once I got over to where they're at, I'm mauling them. They dropped half a bar, like instantly. Fuck! What do I gotta do? God damn it, game. <laughs> Fuck. Well, I'm glad it's working out for you. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh yeah. I don't think this would be this hard. I gotta do. Okay, what are they complaining about? I can't do shit with no money. What? This is literally. What the hell is going on? I have no idea. Yep, game. Okay. Do they have a voice yet? Did you not get a voice if you just freaking load a save file? There we go. Most of them think I'm doing a good job. That's good. Uh, well, it's last year. Let's do taxes at a reasonable rate. Transportation funds, what really matters? Apparently people's houses are going to burn down because we had no fire funding, but that's fine. <laughs> Usually dies. Alright, now I don't want to use this. Plane crash? What the fuck game? Come on. It's the last thing I need. Didn't do that to me the other two times I loaded the save file. Okay, let's see if I win. Please? Fuck! What's in disorder? I don't get it. It really wasn't in disorder. Fucking stupid. I don't even think I can salvage this bullshit. God damn it. <laughs> they have no voice when they load the save file. What the fuck? Okay. Good job, your fine city is growing nicely. I don't see any problems, so why am I getting fired? This advisor's on crack. <laughs> Clearly, there is problems, and I'm not being fucking told about any of it. Is his name Rab Ford? <laughs> A long ways from Toronto. <laughs> Thankfully. Oh great, that's like four cities I've pissed off in a couple of days now. <laughs> okay. Funding at a reasonable rate. I don't know. It's like... That Ford was a great Canadian though. <laughs> he, only yeah. he only tried crack once, or I forgot what the quote even was. <laughs> Who cares about his fucking what he did with drugs? <laughs> I don't know. That's all I really know about it, is that everybody's making fun of that. Let me guess, I'm fired? He was the only politician that was just like completely open about it. Yeah, that's true. Not putting on an act. Unlike the current guy. There was no bullshit. <laughs> oh, man. Why are they 
the president's fucking angry. I look at that guy and I'm all like, man, that guy's a fucking wimp. Not Trudeau. He hasn't done anything drastic or bad, just hasn't done anything. <laughs> That's my that's my opinion on it. I didn't I didn't want him in because his father was horrible, but you know, it's not been as bad as I thought, I guess is what I'm saying. Fuck. Okay. So stick with this fucking tax rate. I don't like that. Get which okay because I raised the taxes one year to this game can't remember anything about the city when I at all like, fuck oh those should be fucking down no wonder I literally need transportation to have the most funding cut corners and everything else I don't know what I can do. I don't think I can salvage this. <clears throat> I thought I could if I saved. I should have saved it a bit earlier. Two years isn't really enough to like change anything. They're just digging themselves a hole, the computer is. <laughs> they met me, I was like, yeah, kinda. Get out of the Okay. I'm like real desperate because now there's certain earthquake themselves. scenario any fucking differently. Try one more time, I guess, to salvage it, but I, there's nothing I can do. Uh, taxes. Taxes, taxes, taxes. Texas? Taxes in Texas. Everything's at 100% funding. Let's just make it a agreeable tax rate. I don't know. It's the only other thing I can think of to try. Nobody's ever going to agree on tax rates. <laughs> Unless it's zero. I've tried the zero route. It didn't work. That's just never going to happen. No. Me, taxes are fat, so. <laughs> oh boy, alright. Uh, need fire funding. I, I don't want money to repair it, but. Okay, well, let's try and do that, I guess. It's not freaking fire stations, hopefully, that does it. Go! Thank God for fast forward. I still see traffic error. Jesus. There's no plane crashes this time. Okay, all the demands are good. Everything's good. Everything's good. Everything's good, believe me. I'm not fired, right? I win. Tell me that game. Fuck! 
Fuck off, game. God, I can't do anything differently. <sighs> I can't win. I can't. It's it's. I don't get it. This is a very very. The city is very not. Old. The city is not in turmoil. Well, the demands for everything were up. The roads were relatively intact. Some were gone. <laughs> Crime was fine. Fire. There wasn't things on fire, and I got fired. <laughs> I guess you could say one thing's on fire. Fuck. And it was on video. <laughs> yep. Zero progress stream. Well, that was fun. You do a really good job. Making no progress? No. Yeah. I was going to say, you could do a really good job, but as long as if you take that one hit of crack and you're on video <laughs> tape. I thought that was the advisor. <laughs> Your political... Your political career down the tubes. Alright, well I'm gonna get some supper and stuff anyways. I'll probably give this a crack later tonight. <laughs> a crack. Uh, I'm gonna give this try another later tonight. Um, probably on a different scenario. I don't know. Fuck. Tag Kristen. I don't know. I hope this will be a lot easier. Alright, good luck with Populous. Alright, thank you. Yeah, no problem. See you later. See ya.